In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to save the world, but first, what is this behind me? Guess. It's a redwood tree? It is a redwood tree, old growth redwood tree. What else is it? Um, is it your mama's toothpick? No, my mama ain't that big, this ain't her toothpick. What else do you think it is? I give up. Okay, it's a pillar of carbon, okay? So we're in an old growth redwood forest, and these are pillars of carbon. Now, if you think about what trees are made out of, a lot of us think, especially when I was a kid, I, th I thought just like dirt and water. And so I was surprised that there wasn't a big old giant hole right next to redwoods because to make the dirt in the tree, you'd have to take it from the ground, right? And that's because trees aren't made completely out of dirt. Dirt adds minerals and blah, 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 but trees are made out of air, okay? air so they're airheads and they're not carnivores they're not herbivores they're carbinivores they're made out of carbon so in just one acre of old growth it sequesters 890 metric tons of carbon and you're like oh i can picture that so easily griff okay um, you can picture 700 cars in la driving around spewing exhaust for a year that's how much carbon an acre of old growth sequesters and sequesters means sucking up and so we're trying to we're meaning people who believe in human solved climate change we're trying to turn this gaseous carbon that's in our atmosphere into solid carbons and one of the ways that you can do that is by planting trees but plant trees are native to your area go to nwf.org slash native plant finder so what happened here was when my folks came here the colonizers we um, displaced the Talawa and the Yurok, um, did terrible things, some unspeakable massacres and child trafficking, you know, little girl trafficking, so you know why. Put them in boarding schools, terrible, awful things, but they're really resilient cultures and they survived this awful apocalypse. And now they're actually restoring their own land and, and reclaiming their culture. So if you look here, here's a Gary Bloomfield painting that shows the clear cut. Okay. And that happened in 96% of the old growth redwoods. And then it was replanted, reseeded really, really densely with poison covered, rodenticide covered um, trees, seeds. And so they grew up and they grew up so thick that they become like where they want to catch on fire and burn to the ground really bad. Like they can't wait to catch on fire. Okay. And nothing can live in there. There's no undergrowth. So Redwoods Rising, which is a um, conglomeration between Redwood National Park. It's a collaboration between Redwood National Park, State Parks, Save the Redwood League, and the Yurok Tribe. We're trying to fix these four. So part of that means taking out the Doug fir trees, right? And then planting redwoods. See this dude right here? I'm planting a redwood tree right here. And so, and then we're unburying the streams because back in the day there was no regulations, no um, protections in the forest. And so all these guys destroyed the forest. They buried the creek. They used it as roads, okay? And then they wondered why all the salmon disappeared. It's because they didn't realize that salmon were nesting in those creeks, laying their eggs in those creeks. So we're hoping that it's gonna look like this in 150 years after we fix it. So folks, you can make a difference just by planting trees that, you're, uh, that are native to your area and supporting folks who are trying to protect old growth forests, not just here in the Redwoods, but in British Columbia and Washington and Oregon, where there's old growth forests need protected, they sequester more carbon. People think that all the carbon sequestration, sucking up the carbon, happens while things are growing. But actually, really old Redwood trees suck up way more carbon. In fact, old growth redwood forest sucks up the same amount of carbon as 700 cars exhaust over a year. That's 890 metric tons of carbon. And second growth forest, forests that are growing only do 270 cars exhaust per year. So folks, old growth forest is where it's at. Again, you don't have to believe in human caused climate change, but you better believe in human solved climate change.